It's chilling when you hear about stories like this taking place in the United States. And let me just say, this is Moscow, Idaho, not Moscow, Russia. We're going to talk about what went down here, guys. Before I go any further, if you enjoy my daily content here on YouTube, I encourage you to help support the ministry over on Patreon as little as $5 a month, patreon.com slash conservative truth. That link in the description gets you access to over 20 exclusive podcasts where I talk a lot more about sensitive information. You get the alerts for anything that goes up on Patreon, unlike YouTube, where you're not going to get notified for every video that I put out. So when you guys get done watching this video, browse back to check what you missed. Like this video, share it, hit the bell, subscribe, and I wear the glasses because I'm blind. Now, there was what were they calling a Psalm Sing protest that was held at the City Hall parking lot in Moscow, Idaho here just the other day. And again, Moscow, Idaho, not Moscow, Russia. This was being presented on by the Christ Church there, the local church. Over 200 people in the parking lot. What were they doing? What were their crimes? Well, peacefully singing praises unto the Lord. But they were apparently in violation of an order there by the mayor that says that everybody who is outside would need to maintain social distancing and wear face masks. And well, they were not doing that here because they were protesting these very rules. So what happens during the midst of all this, the singing that's going on, the police show up and they start arresting people. Now out of the 200 that were there, at least five people were said to have been arrested. And one of those was a candidate for the county commissioner there by the name of Gabriel Wrench. He was one of the ones that was arrested. This is sad to see this. Now I'll put a link down below in the description. You guys can watch the video to see exactly what happened. I mean, this is going to this will this will pull at your heart. Again, you never thought you'd see this happen. These people are continuing to sing as the arrests are being made, as the police are going up and arresting them. This isn't Idaho. This isn't at California, Washington, Oregon, Illinois, New York, or any other you know liberal Democrat run state. This is in a red state like Idaho that this is happening in. So who's to say it's not going to start spreading into other areas, too, that are more conservative? I think a lot of people think that, you know, if you live in a conservative state, they're all of a sudden going to be safe, that, you know, you don't have to worry about anything, that they're going to protect your liberties and your freedoms. That's just not the case. And I say this all the time. When you go to vote, when you look at your local leaders who's running for state, all those other, all those other titles, make sure you vote in those elections because you have to make sure you know who you're putting into office here because... The president can't unfortunately do everything at the federal level. So much is decided at the local and state levels. And now because of this, we see these people getting arrested. And again, this is in America. And this is sad. Over face masks and social distancing. This has been going on for far too long. Why is this not a civil rights investigation? Why is an investigation not being launched? Where's the attorney general in this? Are civil liberties being violated? The constitution being completely thrown out the window? As Americans, we should be able to choose to live our lives with whatever risk that we deem fit. But no, the government is telling us that we can't do that. We don't have religious liberty anymore. We're not allowed to sing in public anymore, but we can riot. We can riot. We can be anarchists. We can do all that stuff. But now you can't even sing in a parking lot anymore without getting yourself arrested. Again, guys, I'll put those links down below in the description of this video. Perhaps if you attended this event, if you were there in Idaho and you'd like to share some more information with us, feel free to do so in the comment section. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you, and I'll talk with you soon.